So um, our lab has two main interests. So one is in the immune system where we work on B and T cells and particularly we, are, we work on the signaling pathways in those cells that control various aspects of the cell's behavior. It's migration, adhesion, and whether it decides to live or die, for example. And then we have a separate interest, which is on the genetics of Down syndrome. And there we're using mouse genetics to explore um, and identify the genes that you need to have in three copies to cause specific Down syndrome phenotypes, so cognitive impairment, heart defects, craniofacial changes, for example. It would seem that these two fields are quite different, um, and indeed they are, but the thing that links them for us is that we use very similar techniques, which is mouse genetics uh, in both cases. Uh, we know how to genetically engineer mice, and that's really the link for us. But sometimes we find links that we weren't expecting. So recently, uh, a gene that we've been working on on the Down syndrome side of the lab uh, has popped up uh, as having potentially an important function in B cells. Um, so we're quite excited by this connection.